hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you another awesome free plugin for premiere pro the best part about this plugin is that you can install it in both your pc and your mac so without wasting time let's dive into this tutorial the name of this plugin is studio plugin now studio plugin gives you an amazing set of transition motion packs text presets and sound effects now to assess this all you need to do is to go over to studioplugin.net then select pricing and scroll down and select the free plan and select download for windows now once you have created your account make sure you verify your account and make sure you have installed the premiere studio now once all of this is done you need to go ahead and restart premiere pro now to assess this plugin go over to windows scroll down to extension and you can find premiere studio over here now select premiere studio and come over to this demo folder here and select this demo folder and you will find this demo transition, demo graphics, demo text presets and demo sound effects folder. Now if you select the demo transition folder, you will find an array of transitions here that you can apply to your video clips over here. Now to apply this transition, what you need to do is to select the clip you want to apply this transition to. Move, let me move my playhead to where I want the transition to be applied to. Select this clip now select the transition you like i think this is my favorite transition here so far select this transition so i can add the transition i can resize it and i can off or on the sound so what i'm going to do is to select add the transition all right guys so i'm going to hit enter right now to render this clip and the reason why i'm doing this is because of this red line that is appearing over here all right so you can see what we have created over here i kind of like this transition so you can select from the other transitions over here so once you select you can see what they kind of do so this is a demo simple zoom rgb out left this is a split transition then if we select the demographics effects over here you can see some effects pack you can just simply select any of the graphics move your player to where you want the graphics to pop in and just select add and it will automatically be added to that position over here and you can see the graphics being selected over here and if you want to edit the graphics what you need to do is to scroll down to your effects control over here after selecting the graphics you will to adjust the scale of the graphics you will to adjust the position and every other thing you would like to do and if you want to further adjust the graphics over here all you need to do is to select this graphics parameter over here you can drop this arrow down and here you can change the color you can change um everything about it the position and everything about the graphics the color of the text over here you can change this from this color to this so you have to remove the color of the text big here i can change it back to white so it can be more visible over here um so basically you can also adjust some of the you can also make use of some of these text presets over here let me just simply select this and clear this out if you want to use some of these text presets you can just select this and select add and it will automatically be added over here remember guys it's going to be added to the position where you placed your playhead on your timeline so you can always select your text over here and move over to your fs control select your text preset this arrow over here and you can change the text the type of text you can change your font you can change your font style and you can change the position of your text and also you can also add some color presets over here so for example, if I come over here and select this first clip over here, and I select this black and white over here, and I select add, automatically I'm going to be adding the black and white effect to this clip. So you can see what we have done over here to this clip. If I scroll past, you can see this black and white effect. There's, there are other color presets over here that you can actually add into this clip. And that's it guys on how to download and install this preset in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.